people haven't heard the new rules, there is a different format this year. And I'm not walk sure- people through that, Jen? Can you walk people yeah. through the changes? Yes, I'll walk you through it because it's not necessarily going to favor Pete Alonso. So that's another reason why I'm baiting him a little bit. So this is how it works. Every player gets three minutes to start with, but they get a max of 40 pitches. So it's no longer just like, how many balls can you lob up there? It's, it's This is, you know, good for their health. Everyone also gets extra bonus time. And instead of it being 30 seconds, it's three outs. Mm. An out is anything that doesn't go for a home run. You can get extra if you hit a home run 425 feet or further, you get one extra out. That's all you can earn. Okay. So it, it does change things. Here's the other really, really important thing that makes a huge difference this year. It used to be head to head seated, number one versus number eight to start, no more. All eight guys is the top four home run hitters. If there's a tie, it's you know broken by the longest home run, et cetera, et cetera. So you don't go to the knockout style until the semis. So you no longer get that advantage of being like, oh, well, Pete Alonso is gonna be facing Alec Bohm. Obviously it's gonna be Pete Alonso. If we're just swinging it out, I'm not saying Pete Alonso can't win it. Of course he can, he's proven he can, but you still got Marcelo Zuna, you got Gunnar Henderson, you've got Bobby Wood Jr., you've got plenty of people, right? It is different this year. So consider that when you make your bets. And, and I will say it, it did change a little bit of, of how you look at this because you're not getting a lot of extra bonus time for long home runs. So that length isn't that as important. It is yeah. still important. You still can get an extra out. And if you're on a roll, that can add up. But for the most part, it's not a huge bonus anymore. Oh!